Hello everyone, I'm Landon Langston. And I'm Sarah Newman, and this is Campbell Now. Nominations for the 2022 Homecoming Court are taking place through September 30th. Only a single nomination is required to be eligible to become a nominee. Voting will take place during Homecoming Week on October 3rd and 4th through Creek Sink. Nominees must be willing to participate in all Homecoming Court events, culminating at the Homecoming Football game on October 8th versus Charleston Southern. To submit a nomination, visit Student Life online or look for the QR code poster on campus. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, Campbell Athletics is hosting home events on Saturday. Swimming has a meet versus UNC Pembroke at 11 a.m. and women's soccer takes on Winthrop at 7 p.m. The women's soccer game also marks the first Campbell Community Night hosted by SGA and SAAC. Also, men's soccer plays tonight at 7 p.m. Be sure to grab your friends and come cheer on the Camels. Admission to the events is free with your student ID. For more information, go to GoCamels.com. Wells Fargo donated $25,000 to the Lundy Fetterman's Trust and Wealth Management Fund this week. The initial gift from 2012 has grown to $400,000 with the most recent donation. The fund is used to distribute scholarships to select few students majoring in the subject. Wells Fargo is one of the top employers for Campbell graduates from the Trust and Wealth program. The bank views the scholarship fund as a great way to show loyalty and appreciation to Campbell's program. The Pinebury Yearbook team is inviting all students to join their staff. Get more information by attending their weekly meetings every Tuesday at 6 p.m. The meetings are held in the Pinebury Lab on the second floor of the Student Union. Check out what your friends and community are up to by visiting the Pinebury Daily Blog at pineburyonline.com. Campbell had the privilege this week of hosting a famous jazz duo composed of Peter H. Bloom and John Funkenhauser. The piano and flute duo has been near, together for nearly 30 years and both members have prestigious careers in various orchestras. The concert took place in Scott's Concert Hall and was a great success that gave students an opportunity to experience famous jazz music right here in Bowie's Creek. Midterms are right around the corner, accompanied by the nerves that come with them. A lot of college students face test anxiety, especially in their first year. There are plenty of resources online that can help you calm your nerves before a test. However, if you need a little more help, Campbell has professional staff on hand and you won't have to pay anything extra to meet with them. Just go to Campbell's website and look up Counseling Services. The cost is already factored into your student fees, so you'll never have to pay to meet with them. If you have a dog either here or back at home, you know they need a lot of help. The American Kennel Club recently hosted an event to advertise responsible ownership of dogs. The event included lots of fun activities and they even partnered with the Wake County Animal Shelter. The shelter is planning more events in the future, including cheap options for rabies shots, microchipping, and wellness services. For more information, look up the Wake County Animal Shelter online. Finally, a Wake County grandmother is celebrating a big birthday event. Mary Dobbins, who was born in 1918, just celebrated her 104th birthday last Friday. She says in the time she has been alive, she has seen 18 presidents in office. ABC 11 asked her how she made it this far. She replied that scriptures have guided her along the way. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Landon Langston. And I'm Sarah Newman. And this has been Campbell Now. See you next week.